Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the figure 8 stitch on the 192 peg, 60 inch, um, 5 8 inch gauge universal S loom. Okay, first of all you're going to need your yarn and this is a really good gauge to use a tensioner with. What you're going to do is, let me zoom this in some. Your loom is going to have white pegs on it. Those white pegs you skip. And the figure eight is just like this. You can see it's a figure eight shape going around both pegs. You just keep doing this. You do that figure eight shape around the entire loom and when you come to a white peg you skip it. The reason you skip the pegs is because to keep the gauge true the outside curve of the S shape is going to have more pegs than the inside curve. So we skip some pegs just so it evens out. So you do this all the when way around. you have that first row done this is about what it's going to look like. Now at this point you have a couple choices. One thing I like to do is take just a piece of scrap yarn of a different color than what I'm using and just place it in between just in between that S shape all the way around. All right, place it in between there. That will separate this first row of stitches out. That way when you get done with your blanket, you can do a uh, crocheted edge to it if you would like. Um, but this right here is just optional. But from here what you do is you just go back and follow the stitch the exact same all the way back to your first peg. And you're going to be skipping uh, the white pegs again. All right, but you do that all the way until you get to the other round. As you can see, you're doing them both exact. Then you'll take your loom hook, your loom tool, and take the bottom loop over the top all the way around the loom. Push them down and you just keep this pattern until you get your blanket to the size you want. And then you pick the appropriate cast off that you would like to use for it. Okay, I hope this gives you a a good understanding of the figure eight stitch and how to do it on this particular loom. Any questions or comments, please uh, put them in the comment section below. In the description of this video, there is a link to a playlist that will show you some different cast offs that you can use for this loom. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.